Action Direct is not just like another 9A. I think it's like a dream of every climber to do this one. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of crazy feeling to like do something you always wanted to do. But my name is Wojciech Tran, I'm a sport climber. Right now we are in Frankenjura. We go here pretty often because we have it like three hours drive from Prague. It's kind of like my home area. Uh, my current project is uh, Action Direct, the famous uh, route from 90s, the first 9A in the world made by Wolfgang Gillick. And it's the route I always wanted to do. The route is 50 meters long, but basically the hardest part is like 15 moves. And yeah, it's like this crazy big overhang, like 45 degrees. And yeah, it's pretty physical. Action Direct is like famous for the two finger pockets and like mono pocket. And you basically don't have any other holds. And it suits me very well because I always love to climb on the like open two fingers and monos. And that's, that's why I climb mostly in Franken era. That's why I like it here. Also, there was a problem with the like numb fingers, like really cold fingers. And also the holes are pretty sharp and takes the blood from your fingers, basically. So above the middle part of the wall, I already can't feel my fingers. So that was very hard to deal with. Tohle vzniklo, jak Vojta uh, leze Action Direct a jak tomu pořád sedí, tak takhle zničil to ano. So the route starts with like five meters, like going 6A, easy climbing. And then you get under the roof and it gets like all crazy because you need to clip like above your head. You can't see really any holds. And you reach for the, like for the mono that you can't really see at that point. And yeah, it's really bad, the mono. And yeah, it's just like jumping pretty far away to a very good hold. But the move is really crazy. Like basically, it's the hardest move of the route. But uh, yeah, once you figure out how to do it, you don't really fall there. So then you clip, and then you do kind of crazy, like very far cross move into not so bad uh, two finger pocket, and then you kind of like continue like three moves on not so bad two finger pockets, and then you reach uh, like the crimp in the middle, which is like not so bad, not so good, but always a little bit wet or kind of dumb. And yeah, there it gets pretty exciting because you have two ways how to continue through the route. Usually people go for the heel on the right side, but for me it was like too sketchy. At first I tried with the heel, but in the end I figured out it's much better to go like straight jumping from the crimp to the side pool, which is much harder and much more physical. But when you do it right, it's like a faster solution that works pretty good for me. Then you put the feet on the wall. That is also very hard. And yeah, at this point you go like two, two times with the left. Very bad uh, intermediate, very bad another intermediate. You're putting your foot very high. And then you just need to go from the second intermediate to the mono, which you can't really see. This like really like unsecure move and yeah I fell many times in this move because you can't see the mono and it's very easy to not hit it right or just like completely miss it. Ten lek rok je ještě těžký, takový ten ten jak tam musím vyflagovat a udělat to tohle. Tam ale vypadá, že se vysypeš. Tam je to hrozný, ale jakmile ji chytneš, tak ona je fakt dobrá. Aha. Nebo to na tu cestu. A pak už ten dlouhý krok doleva uděláš. A pak už vlastně máš jenom přijdeš na tu jednu prstovku na pravou. Aha. Skáčíš nahoru, to je, tam, tam je to jako dobrý podle mě už. Then you uh, need to take the two finger on the right side, which is like pretty hard move because uh, your feet are very high. So yeah, this move is also very unsecure. And once I hit this one, I already didn't fall after that. But then you go like left to the good one. 
you need to switch your feet then taking the mono with the right 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 hand and then many people go like to the small crimp above but i choose to do the pogo like from the lower hands and the lower feet and then you jump with the pogo move to the last <laughs> jack which is not like real jack but it's pretty good Yeah, like flipping the chain was such a good feeling because usually I fall a lot in the last moves and when I send some hard projects I already know that I'm gonna send but this time it was like very unexpected, very surprising and yeah, I was kind of very happy and much more happy than I usually am when I send the projects so yeah, it was kind of special. Frank and is like amazing place. There's so many hard stuff and definitely Action Derek is not the hardest. And yeah, I'm looking forward to try like many harder routes around here.